Welcome to Valencia and the summer house of my best friend Clara. Also home to a tree with massive lemons that we became a bit obsessed with and took many, many photos of. Clara's dad kind of forced a branch onto the tree of a different kind. I think clementine. What? And so one branch is like very clementine. Can, can, can it actually grow? Clara driving! What? So excited! <laughs> I am so excited. Have your feet reached the pedals? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man! It's like all the leg room I've got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look how close the seat must be. <laughs> we first took a little trip into town to visit the best place ever. So, in our Ibiza video, we talked about going to a certain Spanish supermarket. And uh -huh. Claudia, Claudia what, what's that supermarket called? Macedonia. <laughs> Macedonia, indeed. What's it actually called? It's actually Mercadona. And it's as common as a Saint Maurice. I don't know, but it's really exciting for Jessica because it's sugar free and gluten free. And I don't know. What more do you need in life? Exactly. And they serve flan. So much flan. So regular flan. products next to sugar and gluten free ones. That's quite nice. Yeah, Oh, what is it? Oh my god, that's adorable. Show me the pot. That's a traditional. That's lovely. That's a traditional dessert from the north of Spain. No lactose. Does it have sugar? Oh, it doesn't have sugar. Because one is never enough. Clara is going to show us all around her city. Keep, Keep walking. Very stubborn donkey. Who are these fancy people in beautiful dresses? Well, you'll find out more in my next video about the fire celebration, in which I probably mispronounced the word fires a number of times. Oh. <laughs> We've only been away from our dogs for six hours at this point, but we're already fawning over Clara's cousins. Yeah, he's cute. This is the outside kitchen. This paella is beyond amazing. So happy to be eating rice again, though I did eat way too much. Did you know traditionally paella actually had snails and rabbits in? And the burnt bits are the most delicious parts? But I can't find a teapot, so we're going to improvise. Let's see. Yes, that's the way. Let's see. Very nice. Ah. didn't happen because we were all too tired so instead we just stayed and drank and played card games and laughed and had an amazing time and I'm really tired as you have my quite guys. Hello! I'm wearing a little Yes, Clara's parents gave us the traditional fellas. Is that right? Fellas. Fellas. And shoes. And it's super cute and in Claude's favourite colour which is quite good. So it coordinates with every single piece of clothing she has bought. It doesn't actually look even that bad against the strength, but it's really nice. Yeah. Though. Okay, we're gonna make a wish with 5p. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. 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 
This is a sculpture made of wood that will be burnt to the ground in 24 hours because that's a thing Valencians do once a year. You can see more in my fires video. Claude then grabbed the camera, cue some arty shots of the city. I am now exhausted from walking so much, but I do have sugar-free ice cream. Exhaust your face, sugar-free ice cream. Time to create a barbecue. Barbecue. Favorite thing? Wood. <laughs> yeah. No euphemism. I didn't intend it as a euphemism, but it is your favorite thing. Andrew and Claudia have managed to barbecue some of the amazing food we picked up earlier at Macabona, which I'm probably still pronouncing incorrectly, but I really am trying. And some of Clara's friends came to join us. We talked about many indecent things that I could not possibly put on camera, including something weird involving someone's brother and a dog. Yeah. But I can show you jumping over fireworks, because that's far more normal. This morning is much quieter, so here's a little house tour which I realise I haven't done for you yet. It's also Father's Day. I'm going to go to the beach. Uh, well, Clara has a lovely lunch with her father, obviously, and the rest of her family. I'm going to find a cool spot for lunch. And later on, we're going to go and watch a lot of things burn down. So that should be fun. Today I'm feeling exhausted because we were awake until quite late last night and we walked so far yesterday. But being on the beach gave me a great opportunity to try and take the perfect hot dogs or legs shot. Being at the beach also gave me a really good opportunity to finish the book I started and then left it at Friends, Where Am I Now by Mara Wilson, which you may remember from my November favourites last year. And there's Andrea digging a massive hole. I'm not sure why. Yeah, skimming stones wasn't really happening that day. There are three beach restaurants here, but we were very foolish and didn't go for lunch at normal English time, so everything was full. Then, amazingly, Clara's dad pulled through for us and found a table at a really local tiny tapas place. But they didn't speak English, and the menu was a little confusing. But not knowing what was coming made the food extra delicious and delightful when it arrived. All right, Claudia has decided to light a smoke bomb. Looks like a Whilst I eat an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it does. How did that go? Ooh, it's spooky. Oh, coloured. So I touch it? No, don't touch it. Ooh, maybe it will explode. Maybe it will. <laughs> but good thing that was a firework one. <laughs> I'll just throw it right at you. We're so cool. This diner definitely has American sized portions. <laughs> what is this? Ribs left. We then went to watch things burn. On Monday morning, we were all feeling a little worse for wear after staying up so late to watch the fireworks destroy things. Some much needed sweet potato recovery there. This gobsmacking futuristic landscape is Valencia's City of Science. An adorable moment of Clara and Evelyn acuteness. The Science Museum is very confusing, partly because everything is in Spanish, but mainly because not all of the exhibits work, which we didn't realise until we'd been smacking them for a good half an hour. Off to lunch at one of Clara's favourite places, an all-you-can-eat Japanese restaurant. And this cutie is Clara's little cousin.
Clara's parents arrived to cook us another delicious dinner, along with other family members and her cousin's dog. We're missing our pups very much. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's not the truth. Absolutely amazing food. Everything on my plate tasted fabulous, but I was so tired it was a struggle. I am definitely not made to be eating at 10 p.m. I am too British by half. Clara's mother made me sugar-free flan. Check the card above for Clara's take on the recipe. So, I know that normally travel vlogs are like, here's a montage of cool stuff, and we went to some places, and it's amazing, and oh my god, we're doing all this stuff. But I wanted to share the other side of travel. And what it does to me, which you can tell, I'm sure, from my quaky little voice, is that traveling often makes me quite ill. I'm putting my body under a lot of pressure, we're walking around a lot, I'm staying up much later than I normally do, even if that's just 11 or midnight. Although these guys are just like rolling into bed at about 3 a.m. I still love traveling and I still love going to new places, uh, even though, yeah, every time get ill every time and I have to go home and lie in bed for a week so if you're the type of person who you know you watch these videos and you're like wow I wish I could travel I wish I could do all that stuff but I don't have the energy or then don't worry you are not alone <laughs> I can go and I can do more than I normally do when I'm at home but then I do have to lie in my bed for a week. It's just about managing your energy levels and obviously being sensible while you are here. Just did my makeup in the sun. I'm hoping the sun is going to burn off whatever kind of infection I've got in here right now. Who knows? Hopefully. Right, back to montage. But it's the last day of the holiday, so up and at them, we're going into the city. They come and they bring a flower and it makes her beautiful clothes and every year it's a different hat but the same thing. Hi. Hi. We're about to go into the central market. Yeah. Look at central market. It's an interesting angle, thanks. <laughs> Delightful. Let's get presents. Mainly for the dogs. Because that's who we buy presents for. Your mum? Oh, and my mother. Is yes, uh, say thank you for looking after the dogs. And it's Mother's Day yeah. and it's her birthday. Oh, that's really nice. It's like lemon sorbet, but it's similar. Yeah. Hasta la vista! <laughs> what does muy caliente mean? That means very hot. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to England and to our lovely bed, which I am, um, as you can tell, probably. Uh, staying in for most of today and yesterday. We got back two days ago. I know that normally I end my travel vlogs with coming back to England and the end of the holiday, but I thought it's, I don't know, it's more honest to tell you what happens after the holidays as well. Mainly which is just that I get ill and then I have to spend a week in bed. As much fun as it is to have great times with my friends and be staying up late and walking far more than I normally do, and so on, it does 
very much take its toll on me. So we landed, got off the plane, but no, no, it wasn't that easy. We landed, I put my shoes on, and I was like, oh, my toes had gone numb. Well, I have the heel of my feet to walk on, so I had to kind of do an awkward hobble along, even though I had assisted passage, because I'm a doofus, and I was like, it'll be fine, I don't need the wheelchair. Get the wheelchair if you need the wheelchair. Fortunately, as I was hobbling along, whilst Claudia was pushing the bags, um, a lady happened to come up with two wheelchairs that she was moving from different gates, and she was like, would you perhaps like to get in one of these? I'm like, yes, my god, yes. And we got back to Brighton really late, and the dogs were like, oh my god, we missed you so much. I miss them so much, they're so cute. Um, I'm surviving right now on Lemsip. But I just wanted to show you guys that it is perfectly normal to be very ill after going on holiday. And don't think that you can't go and have those fun days just because you feel quite awful at times. Because sometimes, yeah, it's really great to moderate your energy, to use a little bit each day. But sometimes it's worth just using it all up. And then spending a week in bed. And you've got to be okay with that. Which I am working at. A work in progress. I find that The Sims is really helpful for this because, yeah, because it doesn't take much energy, but you feel like you've really achieved. I make us and our future children in The Sims. Just sent the first one off to university. It's a big moment. So I just want to say the holiday was absolutely amazing. Clara and her family were so sweet for having us, but now I must sleep for a week. Life is not beautiful Instagram filters all of the time. I hope you've enjoyed this video, even though it ends with me in my gym jams, in bed, delightfully. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you for my next video.